Joey Lanaw, PJ Stewart taking on Tom Sawyer and Bruce Robbins. Should be a great match here. And then on the other top part of the bracket, I think that's Spellman Klaus, Dagnaw, and Fitzsimmons. So I wanted to just go ahead and show that, folks, to you. As you can get up, you can get out of that now. It's just if we want to show that, we can. That was neat getting to take a look at that bracket semifinals. This is Robbins and Sawyer. Robbins with a round of four to kick things off here in Andover, Massachusetts, home of the Seacoast Open. Jay Vargo saying young guns versus old school. Dang right, dang right. And these, like we mentioned earlier, these young guns have no fear. So, did nope. want to, um, sorry, did want to mention to you as well, Jay. Appreciate the shout out on your post last night. Loved seeing that. The uh, thank us for providing these feeds as, as uh, you said, the U.S. is really starting to grow because of it in the game of darts. So definitely thank you for that compliment, sir. The Young Guns, round of five there. As Sawyer in his turn before, closed two numbers and got points on his round of seven. And Bruce Robbins says, that's enough, Young Guns. <laughs> Matching round of five. This is Peter Stewart, Jr., Peter Stewart Jr. of the World Youth Boys has the most points of any American. Three yeah. Hundred. Well, he's the most points. Yeah, for because oh, Jimmy Fitzsimmons is in there too. I was like, Jim Fitzsimmons? What is he doing on Jimmy there? Jimmy Fitzsimmons. Yeah, this is the That's youth Jimmy. for the world shooters. Here's Joey Lana going for a round of seven. What a big turn from Joey Lana turns this game right around for the young guns and Bruce the Buffalo Robins is going to need to come up with something here on the 15s and he is going to come up just a bit short the young guns they left the door open just a little bit and those young guns says here we are we are the future oh they no outside of that 15 there he goes right back to those 16s. Tom going to have to step on over. The adjustment. The adjustment gives him two. Joey Lana has got winning darts in his hand. Not going to win the game, but he's certainly going to put it on the edge with a triple 16. Yeah, closed out the 15s as well. Nice solid five mark from him, uh, from Joey Lana. Bruce is going to now make the adjustment. And he makes an adjustment for three bulls. Let's see if Peter Stewart Jr. Just going to readjust himself. Sawyer's behind. He's going to need five bullseyes just for a point lead, so all three of his starts are going to go towards the bullseye here. He's going to pick up a rogue 16 at the third dart. And Joey Lenaugh's going to finish it off. Game number one goes to the Young Guns. We're moving on to number two. There's a, our official scorekeeper, Kevin Collins, again. Big shout out to these individuals too. Peter Stewart and the Youth Boys Worldwide is number three. And there's Caden again, we saw him earlier. He's wondering who he might play. Well, big shout out to PJ, uh, Stewart's dad, Colleen Stewart, of course, Tom Lenaw there as well. Big, big support systems of these gentlemen. And thank you to all you watching out there right now across our platforms on YouTube and Facebook. Don't forget to share, like, 
copy, paste into a text message, send it to your mother, send it to your father, send it to all your fa friends. We've got darts all afternoon. Check in on your college football, then check in on the darts because we have a lot of action here. Game two, doubles cricket. We are in the round of four semifinals. And a round of four for Bruce Robbins to get started. And Lenaugh's going to get one up on him. He's going to get the round of five. Tom's going to try to at least get a triple here before he moves. He's not going to get it here, but gets it with the last dart. So Just outside on that second one, it's going to be a four spot. PJ, I think he's actually using a new set of darts from Todd Bumgardner, who actually made a little tester set for him at which city. So I wonder if he's already made that switch or not. Bruce the Buffalo Robins showing what age can do. <laughs> Bruce actually was in the uh, 1996 PDC World Championships, I believe. 1996. Was, was it the match? It was we the match play or the World Championship? Just missed his 25th anniversary. <laughs> just missed the, the anniversary year. And it is getting. It is getting exciting around here. We're hearing the men's brackets just been released. They're doing board calls. Round of seven for Sawyer and Robbins. These players won't get into that singles bracket until they're done with their doubles tournament. And PJ just can't quite find a triple there. We know it's a tough choice, you know, how to, what to watch the, today, whether you watch Gates on the Grand Slam or whether you <laughs> watch this today. We're telling you, you can watch everything. We're going to give you updates all day long on everything that's going on. Darts alike. Mich Sawyer and Robbins. Michigan football. Let's just be <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot going on. I love Saturdays and Sundays, especially with these dart tournament weekends here at the Double Tree in Andover, Massachusetts. Sawyer and Robbins looks like going to push this to game three. Just going to get one. They're just going to try and focus on the next game. You kind of get into that mode where, all right, we won the first one. Kind of kind of can toss away game two. Let's get serious on game three. But Robbins isn't ready to finish yet. Well, hold on. Here, can Joey? Can we get oh, a point lead? Oh, that's tough. Dark yes, work around. he gets a point lead here. That looks like four bullseyes. I I oh, just short. I don't know how he put that last one in. I don't Thought know how he put that last one in. One more. For All the right, win. for the win. That is going to be Sawyer and Robbins, official scorekeeper. Setting the final buttons in. 3.7 that round. I'm sure Lana and Stewart say, I think we can shoot better than a three. Let's try and do that here in game three. And both these players are getting ready for leg number three. Doubles cricket, winner to the finals. Closer to that big doubles envelope. Just ricocheted out. And Sawyer Robbins. The old guys versus the young guys, right? Yes, Here we sir. Go. Here we go. Who's going to win this one? Let's find out as Bruce will get the start. Bruce has been going first all three games. Seems to be the order that they like. Just a bit outside on that second one and oh. the third one. And the door is open for the young guns. And he's going right after it, folks. Let's see if he can peg a triple here to make it interesting. He can't. Uh-oh. Three fats. Hey, look at PJ. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a clap. <laughs> Sorry, he's going to probably have to start downstairs. He's going to go downstairs for the first 
And he says, I can't hit a triple 19. Let's try and close him. Well, the mouth of the North Shore is in here, Taylor. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> Oops. Did I say that? Ooh. Uh, Hits the first two triples, one of the round of nine. But it's going to give a big lead for the young guns. Bruce just can't believe it. Big triple there from Bruce. Ooh, he would needed that round of seven. Joey's going to close him right away. Here come the young guys. Big round of nine, round of seven. Round of seven. That'll help. That'll definitely help. This makes it tough on Tom here. He's going to go after the 18s. And the old guys just can't find a triple anymore. Going to deal with Taylor just giggling behind us. It is a, it's hard to concentrate right now. Got some of that laughing juice. Yeah, right. right. One of the one of the many youngsters headed over to uh, the World Masters shortly. Man, just when you think Ooh. it was going right for Bruce, he gets one, that gets a little loose into those twos, and just two fat numbers needed for Lana, and he goes right back up to pad some more points. He knows he needs them, and and those triple. 20s are huge in a game of cricket because the 16s, you start hitting triple 16s, it's 12 less points than the triple 20s. And he just can't find the triple. You love having a big 150 point lead. You can be nice and relaxed aiming for 16s. Oh yeah. No need oh, to aim yeah. for the triples there. Well, just in case that old Oh, I can't hit a bullseye, it happens too, because I've been there numerous times where you get that 100-point lead and then all of a sudden it just crumbles apart because that eight big old target in the middle just becomes a little bit too hard Smaller to hit. Smaller than a thimble when, that, <laughs> when you go for those bullseyes sometimes. But it is looking as big as a beach ball for Joey as he hits a green eye. And he just about has these guys on the ropes. Even a six bullseye turn won't be enough for Sawyer and Robbins. They'll be happy just for one right now. It's gotten a little cold for Robbins and Sawyer, and it looks like Peter Stewart and Joey Lana are going to move on to the men's doubles finals with two more bullseyes. Blocked a little bit. Blocked a little bit for sure, but he's going to try to work his way around it. He wants it. Look at him. Let's see if he gets it. Just a bit high. <laughs> He I was about to say, I could totally see this going in right two now. Two hands in his face, and he still managed to grab one. Once again, even if Robbins were to get the six, it would not be enough. He'd be, he's just happy to get the two. But he is miles away as Joey Lana and Peter Stewart Jr. move on to the finals of the men's doubles here at the Seacoast Open.